you obviously didn't listen to the show at all last week as you were game planning for the Kansas City Chiefs because I said it many times, not only on mm -hmm. our show, but I also said it on NFL Live and on many, many shows that I was on throughout the week. Rookie quarterback and what a guy you who likes do? to blitz anyway. I'm going to heat him up. That's what I'm going to do. Right, of course. Like, how do you not know that if you're Matt LaFleur? Look, here's what I would say. The transition portion of things moving on from Aaron Rodgers, not so fast. Aaron Rodgers is the quarterback of the Green Bay Packers, and he'll be the quarterback of the Green Bay Packers beyond this season, in my opinion. They've got to get him up to speed and ready for the future. The future is not tomorrow. And I think everybody knows that. They don't want to say it, but it's not tomorrow. Jordan Love, look, he's the first time he ever played – Hadn't played in a couple seasons, like I said, on the Autobahn. This this felt like the Autobahn for him. Bringing all of that pressure, that thing was going 90 miles an hour plus. I mean, he, he just wasn't ready. We saw Aaron Rodgers week one who only had six padded practices. Aaron Rodgers, the best yeah, to ever struggle. do it, right? And he had a bad game. You know, How confident are you at this moment, based on what you saw yesterday, that Jordan Love can eventually – take over for Aaron Rodgers in Green Bay. Yeah, I would feel pretty encouraged if I was the Green Bay Packers uh, by Jordan Love yesterday. So the, the roughest part of the game for him was really the first two series. It had been a thousand days or something since he had played football in a competitive environment that actually mattered. And it's at Arrowhead. I don't know. We've, you've been to Arrowhead. Oh, I mean, I it's a Arrowhead. brutal yeah. place to go yeah. play. So the first couple series are a little bit of a wash to me. I actually thought that he played really good football Matt LaFleur had, I think, had one goal. Get the game to the fourth quarter, okay? Don't lose the game, young kid. Get the game to the fourth quarter, see if we can make some plays. Green Bay loses that game not because of the play of Jordan Love. Green Bay loses that game because of missed opportunities. Two field goals that don't go in, one blocked, one missed, the muffed punt. Mm. So I, I feel relatively good if I'm Green Bay, specifically how the young man played on the road in the fourth quarter. You know, the touchdown pass to Lazard is brilliant coaching. It's also good execution. He makes some good throws. The, the, the number one thing that you take away from his performance that's not good was just misconnection with Devontae. You know, the, the back shoulder throws to Devontae that Aaron has perfected over the course of a decade, he didn't have because he had, you know, a couple practices with them. But I, you feel pretty good about and Jordan Aaron Love. And also was like See, the I greatest think, thing anyone's ever I think seen. Right. I, yes. I look at the way that they played him, I don't think they gave him, Matt LaFleur didn't give him enough help as a coordinator. Yeah, I don't Calling disagree. Calling plays yeah. because they heated him up pretty good. Yeah. And Matt LaFleur was not ready for that. You, yeah. could, you could tell this. he got put on this Autobahn. It was like, oh, my God, this thing is really coming at me fast. Yeah. What to do? And that's part of it is layoff. Two and a half years of not playing football. Yeah. And then last time you really played real football, you were playing like against UNLV well, or something. And, and, and yeah. Key, you talk about yeah. like getting heated up. Well, one of the ways that Green Bay has success is they throw the, sh the fade to Devontae because the quarterback and the receiver make it right. I don't know if there was enough answers out there, mm. easy answers out there for the quarterback. Hey, Chief, the Chiefs didn't win, you know, going away, right? It wasn't overwhelming at all. But what, like, is this what we're going to see from them the rest of the way, and we just going to accept it, and they going to yeah. win the division and go to the playoffs, and that's what it's going to be. I don't be. know if they're going to win the division. I think the Well, AFC, everybody right now is deadlock in the division. Yeah, I think the AFC key is a whole. I, I can't tell you who's really good. I can tell you there's four teams who aren't. There's four teams in the AFC who are, who are not good. Let's start with the Jets. No. You know, but, and there's 12 teams and that I think, man, any of them could win it type of thing. I still ride with Buffalo as the best team in the conference. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.